the touchdown. Hoff Richter to kick off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Come on, man. Let's do it. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Former star in nearby Georgia. This is Sony Michelle. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Draw. Here's Michelle. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. So they knew that this drive, this opening drive, was on them. And boy, that was important to pick up that first down there and keep this one going. Now Newton on first down. Oh my God! Touch him down. Bro, I always do some stupid. I'm passing it, bro. Oh. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Gurley. Room here to run. Not right off the beginning. Oh my gosh. We got right. Touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 nothing already as they come up first and 10. Throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. And the Patriot first down. This is Michelle on the counter. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A play fake to Michelle. Now Newton. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Demonte Casey. No way. First quarter, and now he already has two 
interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand. Put it behind you. Keep pressing forward. On first down, it's Gurley. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. On the pickup, brings up second and two. Running the jet sweep with Ridley. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Ryan. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on it before he got the quarterback on the ground. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Hayden Hurst, former first-round pick, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. But that's the kind of interception that can save a game right there. They're already down two scores. Huge play. Slowing down what was going against them. I was thinking the same thing. You get down three scores there at this stage, could be in for a long ball game. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And boy, that one drops incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. And four yards to go. I'm trying to these people be talking every now. What they talking about? Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. On the ground is Michelle. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. But how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They're running it. It's Michelle. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. First down, Patriots. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Out of the gun, Newton. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Throwing again. Newton. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 16 yards, a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, 
And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. Being chased out left. And now he's going to use his leg. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. Ah, slid. No way, dog. I put a drive together, too. Then I'd be letting them gash me. Can't believe it. She went straight back in the cage. No matter how they phrase it, nope. staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want. She probably got to use the bathroom after she down. ate. That fits the bill. They run. It's Gurley. Stop. Taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Pats at the line ready to go. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. And look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cal got four turnovers. Swing this one out to his running back, and he'll go down at the 28. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up at halftime. We'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Running the jet sweep with Ridley. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. 
Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. They're on the 17-yard line. Pats at the line, ready to go. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. At the 17-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. A shotgun snap for Newton. Oh my god. Uh, I think I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. So now after the sack, Cam of the Patriots going to look up at a third and long. Newton to throw. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. They will go for it. Now Newton. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Well, that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. <laughs> oh my god. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. From the gun, it's Ryan. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Intended target on that one, Russell Gage. But it'll be second and goal. Brings up second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Steps away. And he'll take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Matt Ryan. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Falcons add on. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. Oh my Einstein lord. Probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. 
field position. Turned into six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. Let's see what I can do, man. One to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right yeah, let's see what we could do. You're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. From the gun, Newton. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. Not much there, only a yard. A gain of a yard brings up second and dangerous throw right there. The -yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Operating from the gun, Newton. The man is Myers, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Now a first down throw for Newton. Looking for Harry. He It's caught inside the 25. And oh! so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line it's a big play there for the Patriots and even 50 yards after the big play a chance to finish now on first and goal they'll try and run with Harris and he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in the game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they've met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. They're still trying to run the ball, but they're not finding much space. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Newton. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the Bro. edge of the goal line yeah, at about the one-yard line. Bro, you got to be kidding me. There. Now it's fourth and goal. They snap it to Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. Oh. It's out. And the Falcons say they have it. They do. And they're not able to convert on fourth down. They'll give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play. Knocked the ball free from him. But it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. you got to know as a quarterback that's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position, and he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. They'll try to get this offense going with Michelle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. 
He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, Newton. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked <laughs> off by A.J. Terrell. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before, and right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field, so play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more, but a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. To the interception. Here's Ryan. And yet again, Ryan is intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh my God! Three picks in a row. Ricardo Allen with a pick. That is now five interceptions that he has thrown in this ball game. If I ask you to speculate what's possibly going on in his head, what would you say? strong as I believe he is he understands that not all of these picks have been his fault you know some of the throws yes but have been a good number of them where he hasn't been helped by his own receivers and they've turned into interceptions so he knows if he keeps firing perhaps good things can happen not just in this game but especially in later ones two yards on the carry there it'll be second down two yards on the pickup it's second and eight <laughs> And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. This one caught by Ridley. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Operating from the gun, Bradley. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. This duo locked in 14 yards there. And a first down. From the gun, Bradley. He completes this to Russell Gage. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game. And this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And he's taken down at the seventh after a game of seven. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. <laughs> the Falcons continue to pour it on. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he has the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. That'll he hanging that shit up. Uh, oh, got him. Ah, no, I did. In hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he shuts this out to the Huh? The Pats at the line, ready to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. What's wrong with Cam? We're going to lean on you through this pass. 
Oh my. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Newton on first down. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. No way! Another interception. Picked up by Deion Jones. Though. Wasn't even close. See this defense, man. <laughs> At this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. Bro, that really That's blew me. That time. No one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Bradley. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39 yard line. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Now first and 10 at the 11. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era when we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. It's their quarterback with his first career NFL touchdown. And this offense continues to pour it on. That touchdown, Charles, the first rushing TD of his rookie year. I don't know that he's going to be Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Josh Allen at this stage of his career, but he's got youth on his side. Those young legs, he put them to good use there, didn't he? Extra point put through by Suckup, and the lead will swell by one more. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Pats at the line, ready to go. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. field and they work this well up field across the 45 22 yards there a first down nice game there partner but you and i both know that won't do anything for the final score they're not going to win this one right now they're putting for pride and fantasy points <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg nobody wants to be shut out looking for more there on first down but this throw down field incomplete that incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere this team they've really been put through the ringer in this one 
And incomplete on the deep ball. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and that'll make it third down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Throwing on third down, Newton. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And now here is another interception. Ricardo Allen with a pick. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, it hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Throwing on first down, Bradley. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. catch and run and even 50 yards boy another big play late here for an offense Charles it certainly has had its fair share of big plays coverage has been a problem all game long and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage they've still dented them and now it's been a real issue for them during this game only a yard on the pickup there second and goal at the Patriots four yard line. another try on second down with Gurley and he will get to the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> the head coach, he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. This will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Brady Jarrett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. It's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he'll drop this underneath to Gurley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 
That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases. Offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one. You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. Let's see how they handle the waning moments of this one. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Tackle made back at the 22-yard line. One last throw here for Newton. And my goodness, another interception. Ricardo Allen with a pick, and that will write a finish to this ball game. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. 